Hello, good evening. Good evening, Elvia. Good evening, Maria Fernanda. Good evening, Silvia. Hello everyone, good evening. I hope you have had a good day today. How are you? How are you doing? Are you okay? How is your battery? <laughs> is your battery on? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Rosa. I'm a little tired, but tired. We are, yeah, we are we are ready to try learn a little this this meeting. Good. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I think this is the hottest day that we have had in this week because it's really hot in here. Yeah. Really? Yes. Uh, How's the weather the over there? Um, I'm near, I'm here in San Salvador. Yeah, I'm near Super Selecto La Cima. Yeah. Okay. But uh -huh. lately, lately, the weather, weather was very, very hot. Yes, yeah. yes. Early, but, uh, early in the afternoon, it was, uh, I couldn't, I couldn't stand because uh, it was really hot. It was yeah. really hot. Yeah. But, uh, but the ray, it is present yesterday and today. But the weather right now it is so so cold. Oh, in, in your house and yeah. Oh, great, yeah. great. Okay. Uh -huh. It was in the after rain yesterday. After the rain. Uh, oh. After okay. the rain. Yeah. Okay. It was. Yeah, it uh, refreshed. Uh huh. It yeah, refreshed, refreshed the ambience. Okay. Good. Okay, everyone, I'm, I'm glad to see you back. And we are going to start for taking the attendance, okay? Uh, this is a requirement, so we have to do it. Angeli Magali Coronado Diaz. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. Um, Carlos Ernesto Rogel. Conchita María, Cés, uh, bueno, Carlos Ernesto ahorita entró. Vamos a ver. Carlos Ernesto Rogel. Muy bien. I'm taking the attendance. So you have to say present. Okay. 
Okay, thank you. You have to turn on your video cam and then uh, also you have to say aloud, loudly, okay? So, continuing. Um, just let me see. Conchita Maria Cecilia Gomez Campos. By the way, do you know her? Was she uh, your classmate in the last module? Conchita Maria? Hello, teacher. Hello. My uh, compañera de trabajo. Uh, uh, your associate, uh huh. Y ese, se sentía mal, pidió permiso en la tarde, no sé si habrá oh. seguido mal. Ok, uh -huh. ok, comprendo, comprendo. Ahí uh, sí tienen que comunicarse con administración porque sería la segunda falta. Si me hacen favor de avisarle. Ah, bueno, nosotros nos ponemos en contacto también, pero okay, de igual modo. Yo le digo. Gracias. Vamos a ver. Uh, Edward Ademir. Edward Ademir Noyola Brito. He's not here yet. <clears throat> Eleani Alejandra Nativi Rivera. Ok, voy a ir más rápido. Elvia Janet Beltrán de Cabrera. Present. Ok. Fausto Antonio Landaverde López. Fausto Antonio Landaverde López. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Carla Marielos Guevara Callejas. Present teacher. Ok, thank you. Leslie Fernández Ochoa. María Fernanda Gaviria Guerrero. Present. Thank you. Eh, Rita Beatriz Cabrero Desea. Present. Thank you. Uh, Rita Beatriz Cabrero, ya, yeah. ok. Um, Rosa Esperanza Vázquez de Girón. Present, teacher. Thank you. Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Hello, teacher. Present. Okay. Good. Uh, Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. William Isaac Montoya. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. There we go. Okay, continuing. We were saying that today here around is uh, the hottest day because it's really hot. Um, how was your day today? How was your day today? Oh. <laughs> great Wait. day. It, okay. It's great. Okay, okay, <laughs> good. Girl, uh, okay. The, the girl in the office uh, um, yeah, right now in, in the house. Oh, so you're working from home? Um, no, no. You go to uh, you go to your workplace. Workplace. Okay, good, good. Well, I see everybody is here and is already ready to start, and we are going just to watch the video from yesterday, just to have an idea about the count and non-count nouns. Okay, just let me check. Um, I'm sorry, just let me um, show you this. I'm gonna share the screen with you just, just to remember, okay? Mm -hmm. 
Paperclip. Markers. Pen. Pencil. Portfolio. Agenda. Folder. Staples. Stapler. Tape. Pencil sharpener. Coffee. Water. Sugar. Tea. Milk. Okay. Now, if you remember, I'm sorry, to give me one second. If you remember yesterday, we were, we were talking about the count and non-count nouns, but just let me remember a question. What do they buy or do they purchase in your workplace? This is the question today. What do they buy or what do they purchase in your workplace? Um, I want an answer from... Carlo, I'm um, sorry, El, Eleani. Eleani, can you give me an answer for this question? What do they buy in your workplace? What products? What products do they buy? Do they buy? Let's see the question again. I'm going to show you the question again. Okay. Sorry, teacher. My okay. connection, the internet, it's bad. Okay, no problem. We understand. So uh, we were saying this, what do they purchase in your company? So we can say also, what do they um, buy? Do you remember that purchases a sign on them of buying, right? So what do they purchase in your company or in your workplace, Eliani? I think it's not possible to have a connection with her, right? Okay, no problem. Let's hear Edward. Edward, what do they purchase in your workplace? Uh, good evening. Good evening, in my, Edward. In my um, work, um, I push uh, fuel diesel mm -hmm. for the machine and oil. Mm -hmm. um, um que uh, sería implementos de limpieza sería the cleaning products cleaning products oh, the mm -hmm. cleaning products the cleaning okay. products okay mm -hmm. good so uh just talking about the products products this word products okay um este alcohol en gel Okay, um, alcohol gel mm -hmm. um, or gel alcohol. It's the gel thing. alcohol, okay, gel mm -hmm. alcohol, uh, desinfectant. Desinfectant, okay. Um, lejía. Okay, that's bleach. Bleach. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bleach, bleach, mm -hmm. the blanqueador, bleach. bleach, okay. Bleach. Okay, uh, soap for wear uh, and for hand. Soap, okay, antibacterial soap. Okay, good, okay. good. Thank you very much, Edward. Now let's think about the kind of products that we like to buy as person, as a person, right? As a customer 
uh, what do you like to buy when you go shopping? This was the last question, uh, the first question that we saw yesterday. What do you like to buy when you go shopping? And let's remember that Carla said that she loves to go and buy shoes, right? Do you remember that? To buy shoes. But these products yeah. has, I mean, these products have features and you don't go to buy something that you don't need or that you don't like. You have a specifications, right? You have some something in your mind that you want to get. So this is the topic for today. We are going to uh, learn how to describe the, the kind of product that we are wanting or that we are requesting. And also we are going to ask for information about the products. This is what we are going to see today. How to ask and answer about the features of a product. So let's go to our um, manual, please. And page uh, number I think it was number 10, right? Number 10. Do you remember that yesterday we saw uh, the features? We said that it was the size, dimensions, and also we were talking about the battery life, the functions that the product has. So how are we going to um, a structure these questions. This is very easy. We have to take in consideration that we have countable nouns and non-countable or uncountable nouns. And this is the difference that we have to make to structure our question. So we use how much when the noun is uncountable and we use how many when it is countable. So let's see these questions that we have here. Just let me, um, uh, allow me just one second because I have something here. Okay, so now, do you have your, your manual there? Do you have your manual there? Can you visualize it uh, by your own? Yes? Yes, teacher. So let's go to page 10 and let's read. Let's read how to use countable and uncountable nouns. There is a um, box there. So I'm going to read it first and then I'm going to ask you, mm, I'm going to choose randomly, okay, who to, to read, okay. The first box, it says, how much? How much does the refrigerator weigh? There is a mistake in there, so please correct this. Weigh, it says, it has a TS at the end. Tiene una TS al final. Ese es un error. Ahí es un error de imprenta de dedo porque, because we are using does, so we don't need the third person and also, we have to say, use this as a verb. So how much the refrigerator weigh? How much the refrigerator weigh? Okay. Cross the TS, please. And correct, because it is way over there. So how much does the refrigerator weigh? So let's think. What are they asking? Ah, oh, they are asking about... What they're asking for in that question. How much does the refrigerator weigh? How much? How price. much? It's price. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. It's weigh. So it could be oh. kilograms. It could be pounds. It could be... Uh, Pound. Any... Excuse me? Pound. Pound? Tones, tones. Yeah. Okay, good. Tones, good. So let's see the other question. It says, how much does it cost? Are we talking about size there? No, right. Uh, what are they asking there? How much does it cost? They are asking for? Money. Price. What is the feature? Price, right? 
Price. price. They are asking for the price. How much? We are talking about money. Is money countable or is it uncountable? It says. Oh, okay. Money. Then I'm going. Don't worry. You can. Uh, did you? Perdón. Solo voy a ver que en el chat me está poniendo que alguien no tiene el manual. Okay. Eh, Angeli. Eh, ustedes ya están en el grupo de WhatsApp. Angeli. Hola, sí, ya estoy en el grupo, pero creo que entre Lo voy a reenviar no, ahí no, no, en el grupo ahorita para que lo pueda ver. Ok. Perfecto. Ahí está. Ahí lo tiene. Gracias. Bueno, bueno. Ok, good. Ok. Let's continue. Let's continue here. Uh, one moment. Uh -huh. So they were talking about the price, right? How much does it cost? How much does it cost? Next one, it says, how much is the warranty? How much is the warranty? The next one, it says, how much does it storage? How much does it storage? They are asking for a refrigerator. They want to buy a refrigerator, right? So these are the questions that they are asking about the refrigerator. So let's see, can you please read the questions? I mean, one, two, three, four questions. Four questions. Can you read the four questions, please, Maria Fernanda? Uh, yes, the first. Four. Four. How much does it storage? Okay, the please? four, the, the complete four, all of them, please. From the beginning, how much the refrigerator weighs, and then you continue. I need the four sentences. Oh, oh okay. Okay. okay? How much does the, the refrigerator weight? How much does it cost? How much is the warranty? How much does it storage? Okay, good. So if you see, let's think that Maria Fernanda wants to buy this refrigerator, okay? And then let's think the answers for these questions. Um, Let's try to do it. Nos vamos a tirar de un solo. Vamos a ver. Maria Fernanda wants to buy this refrigerator. And uh, Carlos Antonio is going to answer the questions. Okay? That she is, you are the seller and uh, she is the buyer. Okay? So let's try and let's do this okay. exercise. Go ahead, please, Maria Fernanda. Start number one and wait for the answer. Okay. Uh, how much does the refrigerator weight? It is uh, probably is um, one hundred pounds. Okay. Next. Yes, please. How much does it cost? Is uh, four four hundred uh, dollars. Uh, how much is the warranty? It's one year. And how much does is its storage? Maybe in the kitchen and in a place. Um, it's, 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 it's out. Uh, I try to explain it uh, lejos de la ventana. Okay, let me help you with this because the question, they are trying okay. to ask you how much you can put in the refrigerator, okay? Ah, okay, yeah, okay. In the okay. refrigerator. So okay. I think you can say, oh, a lot of things. You can storage here the um, drinkings and also the meats and it has a freezer. So, you know, you have to describe the refrigerator when okay. someone asks this question, okay? Carlos? There you go. Okay. But 
Thank you very much, Carlos, and thank you very much, Maria Fernanda. So now let's see. This is talking about uncountable feet, uh, the noun of the feature. So we say that they were uh, asking for the weight, uh, the price, the warranty, and the storage. Uncountable, right? And we use how much. So let's see the other. Let's see the other box there. And it says how many, right? It says how many. Let's read them. I'm going to read them for you first, and then we are going to do the same exercise with some of you. So it says, how many features does it have? How many features does it have? One moment. And the next one, it says, how many colors is this in? How many colors is this in? Next one, how many functions does it have? How many functions does it have? Next one, how many products do you want? How many products do you want? Here, we're not talking about only one um, product. We are using different ideas in these questions, right? So let's think, let's think. Uh, how many features does it have? What could be the answer? Uh, it could be, well, look, it has three or four or five features, right? So it's countable, right? It's countable. So we can say features is like the size, uh, the price, again, with that vocabulary from yesterday, right? So continuing, uh, how many colors is this in? For example, a shirt, how many colors is this in? Uh, we have them in blue, we have them in... Um, white and red, for example, right? We say the colors. How many functions does it have? Oh, you see, it has an infinity of uh, functions. You can use this and this other app, and also you can use it as a lamp, whatever, right? So how many products do you want? How many products do you want? Uh, so we can say, well, I need three of them. I need four of them. We are counting. So now I want to hear you guys. I want to hear you. So you are going to participate. Uh, let's see. Uh, Francisco and Carla. Number one, question and answer from the box, right? From the box. Uh, how, Go ahead. Uh, how much? Uh, and Carla, how many? How many? How many? Only how many? Yes, you are going to ask only the number one. And Carla is going to answer to that question because they are different ideas, okay? Okay. Uh, how many features does it have? I have three features. Okay. It's not you, it's the product, right? So it, it has... It's Right. It, it ha has. It has mm -hmm. three features. Three different features. We could say, right? Good, excellent, Carla. So now let's see, Carla, choose a classmate and uh, ask the the second question. Choose How many colors? How many colors? Is this is this in? Is this in? So, who do you want this to answer? Choose a classmate. Choose. Escoja un compañero. Choose a classmate to answer. Mm. No me aparece en los demás, pero Edward. 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 You ready, Edward? Okay. I'm ready. There you go. Ask again, Carlita, please. How how many color is this in? Uh, I have color and for t-shirt and color black and white and blue and purple. Great, Edward. 
Just remember that okay. when we answer, when we answer, we use the same information they are giving us in the question, right? If they say, how many colors is this in? Then you can say, ah, oh, this is in blue and red and right you use the same information this is in and the colors right so next one edward ask uh, i'm sorry choose a classmate ask the question and choose the classmate that you want to answer okay um eliani creo que está por ahí. she was here but it would uh, she got disconnected. Okay. Um, Rosa? Yes, there she is. Okay. Rosa, how many functions does it have? Um, this, this is a uh, function. Uh, um, um, Difference for sure. Good. So let's remember to use the same information. It has, it has different functions. It has different function. Mm -hmm. Okay. So remember to use the same information in the question. That's the way to answer correctly. Okay. Next one. Uh, let's see, Rosita, you please ask the question and choose a classmate to answer. Um, it, uh, how many products do yours do want, uh, Carlos Antonio? Uh, Carlos Antonio, le puedo hacer yes. la pregunta? Yes, yes. yes. Okay. Uh, how many products do you, do you want? Uh, I I want to I want two product, please. Great, great. So I could say, uh, please, I want a dozen of them, right? I want a dozen of products. So we are talking about twelve products, right? Twelve. So this is very interesting, and just remember the countable and uncountable concept to use how many and how much. Now let's do the exercise. Let's do the exercise that we have down there. So uh, we are going to break out and uh, you are going to do it in pairs, okay? Just let me, you are going to do, the, the, do it in pairs. Just let me read oh, the instructions. Oh, Just let me read the instructions. Because the instruction says, complete the following oh, questions using how much or how many. Okay, how much or how many? There you go. This is the what you are going to do. Do you have any question of what you are going to do? Do you understand, right? The instructions? Yes, okay. Yes, I'm I going am. to yeah. uh, give you at least five or eight minutes to do it because it's really easy. Okay. One moment, because I don't find here. There we go. There it is. So we are going to work in pairs. There you go. Okay. There you are.
Carlos, didn't you receive the, the uh, invitation to go to, to work in pairs? Carlos Ernesto? No la tiene. Ay. Sí. Yes, en la actividad 5. Yes, es. Yes. Usando how much or how many? Vamos a completar. Vaya. En la primera. Yo digo que how, how many PAs do you I need to assemble? No sé cómo se pronuncia. Use, use, yes. I'm sorry. Hello, girls. How are you? Hello. Are you okay? How is this thing going? Okay, just use your vocabulary, okay? Use your vocabulary. For example, if you want to say number one, yeah, instead of say la primera, no, okay, number one, and then you go, use your vocabulary okay. that you have, okay? So go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Number one. Number, number one, how many? How many? Number and two? Uh, number two. Huh? How much? How much? How much? Yes. Number and three. And number two. Three. How many? How much? How much PS PS is anyway. P do I need to assemble this? This is do I need. Uh -huh. How much? Mm -hmm. Quanto cuesta lo, lo libro. los libros? Libros, pero esos libros, ajá. La tres, how many is the battery life of this computer? Sí. La cuatro, how many hours do I charge it? Las horas, se puede, si se pueden contar, sería how much. Porque dice cuántas horas, no. ¿Cuántas horas puedo cargar esto? No, pero la carga, la carga sería el, el verbo, no, ¿verdad? Ahí sí ya me confundí. Teacher, please. Ah, hello, how are you? I see that you are having kind of trouble, right? Let's remember how much for uncountable. How many for countable nouns? So let's think, you said hours. Yes, you can count the hours, right? You can count the hours. So it is how many hours, right? Because it's countable, how many hours? Uh, when we talk about the battery life, battery life is not countable, right? 
You cannot count it. Not no. countable, it's many. No. Uncountable is how much. Ah, summer. Mm -hmm. Yes. How much? Uncountable. How many? Countable. There you go. Thank you. Okay. Okay, Thank go you. ahead. Ha puesto a la misma al revés, Angeli. Pero creo que está... Vamos a ver. Use your vocabulary, please. English. English, please. <laughs> <laughs> how... Number one. How... Uh huh. How was it? Did you finish? Yes, we completed. Yes, I do, teacher. I finished, teacher. Yes. Okay. Let's remember to use the information in the question. Did you finish? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Right? Yes, yes, I did. I did. Sorry, sorry, uh -huh. sorry. Yeah, because yes, it was. <laughs> yeah. Good. Good. Um. Ne um. Let's see. L this. Um. Uh, this is a very, let's see, sometimes it's confusing to understand what is countable and what is not. Because uh, in Spanish, we have a concept for something, but in English, it changes. It's different. So in this case, my best advice is that you to practice. That's the only way to master this, okay? If you are going to master uh, just practicing. So, but let's try doing this exercise. Uh, it's very easy and we can have an idea, right? We can have an idea how to ask for information, right? So complete the following questions using how much or how many. Number one, the last part says, pieces, do I need to assemble these? Ah, they are talking about pieces, pieces. It's a plural, right? It's a plural. So that's why we use do I need, right? So let's see. Do we use how much or how many with pieces? Can you count pieces? Yes. Yeah. You can count pieces, right? Yes. So it how is. Many? Yes. Yes. Uh, can please, um, Eduardo, complete the number one. Uh, how many pieces do I need to assemble this? Okay, good. How many pieces? This is a plural, so we have to say pieces. Do I need to assemble this? Good. Number two, what are they talking about? Do this, th these books cost? Ah, they are talking about 
price for money, right? So we ask how many or how much? How, how much? much? How much? How much? Great. How much? Number two, can you read it, please, <laughs> Sylvia? Number two, complete. Number two, how, how much do these books cost? Excellent. Can you repeat it? How Read much it again. do these books cost? Thank you very much, Sylvia. Mm -hmm. Number three, what are we talking about here in this question? What do they want to know? Ah, the battery life of this computer. Is that countable or is mm, uncountable? Let's see. Uncountable. uncountable. Okay, so what do we use? How much or how many? How, how much? much? How much? Okay, Eliani, can you read number three, the complete sentence, please? How much is the battery life of these computers? Excellent. So number four, let's continue with number four. Um, what are they asking for? Uh, they want to know about? Hours. Hours. Uh -huh. To do something, right? To charge the phone or the computer or what they are buying, the device, right? So number four, is it countable or uncountable, the hours? This, this is countable. 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 Okay, countable. so what's the complete question? How many? Okay, can many? you say it complete? The complete Let's sentence? It. How many How many? How many hours do I charge it? Great. How many hours do I charge it? How many hours do I charge it? Okay, good. Number five. How much money do you have? How much Great. money do you have? Great. How much money do you have? And it's missing the question mark. Please add the question mark there. How much money do you have? Uh, the question mark. Okay, they are asking uh, about a, um, an amount of money and a quantity of money. So we have to use how much because money is uncountable. Even though we can count the bills, we can count the coins, but money is uncountable. Number six, gallons of water. Gallons of water does this need? Gallons of water, are they countable or uncountable? Countable. 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 They are talking about water, right? But it has a quantifier, gallons. right? The quantifier gallons. is gallons. Great. Gallons. It is gallons. how many gallons of water does this need, right? Excellent. Can you read it complete? The complete number six, uh, Wilfredo, please. Great teacher. How many gallons of water does this need? Excellent. Great. Good, good. So now let's use this. Let's use this to ask some questions. Okay. We are going to ask some questions. But I'm going to, to do this, to do this first. One moment. So now. Um, okay, Elvia, please choose a product that you want to buy. Okay, you want to buy a product. What product could it be? Tell me a product that you want to buy. It's product. Any product. Do you want to buy a shirt? Do you want to buy a chair? Do you want to buy um? Just tell me a product. It's coffee. Okay, you want to buy coffee. Products. Okay, good. You want to buy coffee, so you go to the store and you have your specific. I'm sorry, your specifications, right, in your mind. 
the amount of coffee that you want to buy and everything that you want. So let's see. You are going to, um, let's see, Maria store, okay? You go to Maria store to buy the coffee. So let's use the questions that we did before in your, you can use the questions in your manual and ask. You are going to ask about the coffee, okay? For example, you can ask the price, you can ask um, the, um, uh, the weight, right? So please go to and ask to Maria's store, okay? Let's see. How, how many? It's... Weight coffee. Okay, let's go to the weight. How much does it weigh? How right? much? How much does the coffee weigh? Right? How much the coffee weight? Does the coffee weigh? Mm -hmm. How much does the coffee weigh? We are going to. How do much that. does the coffee weigh? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay, Maria. Fernanda? I think she's gone. Okay, then there was no coffee in Maria's store. So let's go to another store. Let's go to Edward's store, okay? Edward's store, and you ask. Mm -hmm. In the how much how much does the coffee does weigh? The coffee weight in the just just that. How much does the coffee weigh? How much does the coffee weight in the the supermarket? Oh, okay. Go ahead, Edward. Uh, Answer that question. Uh, the weight of coffee is a uh, one pound. Great, one pound. It's four pounds. Oh, coffee. so you want to buy four pounds? Okay, then you have to say, I want to buy. I want, I to, want buy, to buy four pounds. I want to please. buy. Four pounds coffee. There you go. There you go. So if you see, these are the questions that you are going to use when you want to buy a product. Okay, you have to describe the product. So let's go again to our manuals. Thank you very much, Elvia, and thank you very much, Edward. Just let me go. I think I closed it. we go. I'm going to leave it like that just to see this one, okay? And we are going to read some measurements. This box is in your manual, okay? And let's read. These are the features of a product that you want to buy. For example, if you want to buy tablets or do you want to or you want to buy televisions or you want to buy refrigerators so these are the features of these kind of products and let's see the questions the questions that a customer or you as a customer um, can make about 
any product. This is just to ask for information, okay? Can you read number one, uh, Carlos Ernesto, please? The, the first question. Okay. What are the dimensions of these tablets? Okay, what are the dimensions of these tablets? Good, thank you very much. And let's see, let's go to dimensions, to the box of dimensions and one second. Let's go to dimensions. And let's see, we are talking about tablets. Ah, these are the dimensions of the tablets, right? The tablets. How do we read that? How do we read it? the dimensions? Let's read, oh, the tablets are 19.3 centimeters by 13.7 centimeters by 1.03 centimeters. Okay? You got it? Let's try to say them, okay? Please uh, activate your audios and say with me. Let's do it simultaneously, okay? 19.3 centimeters. 19.3 by 13.7 centimeters. 13.7 by 1.03 centimeters. Okay, so now we know that this symbol here of multiplication, we have to say it by, okay, by. In math, we use these as times, but here in the dimensions, we say by. So 19.3 centimeters by 13.7 centimeters by 1.03 centimeters. So I'm going to ask the question, what are the dimensions of these tablets? Um, let's see, let me see here. Elvia, can you give me the answer, please? What are the dimensions of these tablets? Nineteen point three centimeters by thirteen point seven centimeters by one. Points three cent centimeter. Okay, good, great. Do you have any question with this um, a, a, a measurement? How to say this measurement? Questions? Mm. No? Okay, let's read the other oh. one. Uh, can you read this, please, Elia Eliani? Can you read the second question? Oh. This question. How many televisions? Just Any read television? it. How many television there is in stock? How many televisions are there in stock? How many televisions are there in stock? So we can say an amount, an amount of televisions, right? So they are talking about the quantity. Do you see here quantity? So let's see how many televisions do they have in stock? Can you give me the answer, Sylvia, please? There are 100 televisions. Thank you very much. Sylvia? Yes, 
Uh, there are 200 televisions. No, I'm sorry. Mm, there are 100 televisions in okay. stock. Okay, good. Good. So let's think, how much does the refrigerators weigh? How much does the refrigerators weigh? Let's see. Here is the refrigerators and the weight here. So how do we read this? How do we read this? Huh, do you see LBS here? LBS, that's the short for in Spanish, we say libras, right? In English, we use this symbol too for pounds, okay? So if you see LBS is the same as you say pounds, okay? So how much does the refrigerators weigh? 340 pounds to... 380 pounds, okay? He, this is um, an interval, right? So you can say around, around 340 pounds and 380 pounds, okay? There you go. So um, let's see, can you please read the question, Carlos Ernesto again, the number three. Can you read the last question here? Okay. How much does the refrigerator's weight? Okay. Uh, can you give me the answer, please, Angeli? Um, the refrigerator's weight is 340 LBIs. And casi no, casi no veo. Three hundred and eighty. But remember yes. that we don't say LBS. We say pounds. Okay. Pounds. Three hundred and forty pounds. Okay. Do okay. you have any question about this, anyone? Or is it okay? Are, are we okay with this? About the pounds? Pounds, yes. Even though you are going to see the short for libras as if it were in Spanish, but this is in English, LBS is the same, okay? Is the same, but we say pounds, pounds. We don't say libras or LBS, okay? Okay, so now we have some more information here. Let's talk about the televisions. Who wants to ask about the television? Let's see, Fausto, can you ask a question, a similar questions, a, a, a similar question as these questions that we have here about the television? Help me teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, questions? Give me a question about the television using this information. Here we talk about the quantity, right? So you can ask dimension, you can ask weight. Okay. Um, um, how much does the television weigh? Excellent. How much does the television weigh? And how much is it? Um, let's see here we have. Carlos Antonio, how much is the weight? Um, the weight is 112.43 pounds. Pound. Okay. Remember that we use the same information. How much does the televisions, um, I mean the television weigh? Uh, it 
or they. It depends on the kind of question they do, right? They ask. So the television weighs. But if we do it in plural, the televisions weigh. Okay? Remember, third person, right? Third person. It weighs. The televisions weigh. Correct? Any question about that? Okay, sure. I'm going to ask another question. Okay. Sure. Uh, what? Excuse me? Yeah, I have a, a question. Okay, tell me. Uh, in this case, the weight, the word weight, because it's third person, uh, we add S to the uh, final, the final word. Yes, when it says only <laughs> one product, right? When we are talking about one product, just let me uh, do this here. So for example, we, okay, we use it when we use plural, the televisions, I'm sorry. The televisions way, okay? But if we are talking about only one television, then it, it's only one television, right? Weighs, correct? It weighs, let's see the weight, the weight for the television, okay? It weighs 112 and 43, or 0.43 pounds. There you go. Good? Okay, teacher, thanks. Okay, good. Remember, the television's way. And it's, if teacher, it is on, uh, yes, tell me. It, um, weight with T. Ah, good. Weight is the noun. Okay, weight. Weight is the noun. Way is the verb. I'm going to say this in Spanish. Pesar, right? Cuanto pesa, okay? Y este es el peso, right? The noun, weight, el peso es, right? Correct? Okay, thank you. Good. Let's remember, way for plural, ways for singular and weight when we are not talking about when we are talking in general and we're using just the noun or the feature the feature is weight okay now mm -hmm. are we okay with this do you have any other questions I have to take the attendance right now, okay? Okay, I'm taking the attendance again for the second time. Angeli Magali Coronado Diaz. Uh, you have to say present. I'm present. sorry, but you have to say present and uh, uh, turn on your video. So let's see. Number one. Yeah. Number two, Angeli Magali. There we go. Carlos Anta Antonio Murillo Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Carlos Ernesto Rogel. I'm here. Thank you. Conchita Maria is not here, right? Uh, Edward Ademir Noyola Brito. Present. Thank you. 
Eleani Alejandra Nativi Rivera. Present. Fausto Antonio Landaverde López. Present. Fausto, I'm um, sorry, Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla María Los Guevara Callejas. Present teacher. Thank you. Leslie Fernández Ochoa. No, right. María Fernanda Gavidia Guerrero. Present. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Present. Rosa Esperanza Vázquez de Girón. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. I thought she was here, but no, right? Let's see. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Hello, teacher. Present. Thank you. Uh, Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Thank you. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present, teacher. Thank you. William Isaac Montoya Ávila. Okay. Okay, how do you feel, guys? About how much and how many? So let's talk about the cost of something for being easy. How much does a cell phone cost? How much does a cell phone cost in these days? Can you give me an answer, anyone? Meet the chair. Uh -huh, go ahead. How much does it cost, it cost of iPhone 11? Oh, good. <laughs> How much does the iPhone 11 cost? Uh huh. Do you have any idea, anyone? <clears throat> no. Maybe. No, uh huh. It cost uh, around one hundred. One hundred or one thousand. One thousand. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Yeah. One thousand. I think it's expensive, right? Is it expensive? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay. So now let's it's talk sure. about. Uh, yes. Tell me. It's your, uh, how do you say? Eh, más de, por ejemplo, más de mil. Eh, ah, more than. More than. More than, uh -huh. okay. More than 1,000, right. more than $2,000, more than. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, great. Any other question? Do you have a question? Perdón, lo digo en español para que me quede claro. Ok, go ahead, tell este, me. ¿Cómo sería la forma correcta de pronunciarlo? How much does? How much does? Uh, and then you say the product. How much does? Then you say the product that you want to know. The price okay. about, right? Cell how phone, much, cell phone. Uh -huh. how, how much, much does, does cell phone cost? Yes. How much does a cell phone cost, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. We're talking Thank about you. price, money. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Good. Any other question? No questions? Okay, now let's go back to our, it's time for conversation, okay? So we are going to go back. to the manual.
And let's go to page 11, okay? We are going to pass to another topic. This topic is that we want to talk about obligation. Now tell me, let's see. Walter Mauricio, what do you have to do in your job every day? What do you have to do every day in your job? Is there a thing that you have to do every day in your job? The activities that you do. What do you have to do in your job every day? Every day, uh, my activities is uh, uh, delivery to uh, templates. Uh, supervisor uh, the production the okay company. okay then you have to answer I have to okay I have to supervise the production for example right yes. I have to because you're saying your obligation uh -huh. right so I have to supervise the production uh -huh. I have the to production. Yes, okay. that's the way, that's the right. way. Thank you. Go ahead, Walter, and say it. I have to. Say it with me. I have to supervise the production. I have to supervise the production. I have to supervise the production. I have to the supervision the production. Okay, I have to supervise the production. Great. Thank you very much, Walter. So what do you have to do every day, Francisco Eduardo, in your job? Uh, uh, my obligation. Yes, please. Okay. Activities. Uh, I, I have uh, operation the machinery. Okay, I uh, have to operate. I have to operate the I machinery. Have, I have to operate the machinery. Yes, great. Uh huh. Uh, and uh, other obligation, I have to do a maintenance report. Okay, good. I have to do your, I mean, I have to do a, a maintenance, maintenance. Remember the pronunciation is maintenance, okay? Maintenance. Maintenance, excellent. Maintenance. Maintenance reports, good. Maintenance report. Yes. Correct. I have to do maintenance report or to write or to type. Okay. It depends if you write them or if you type them or if you read them, if you analyze the, the maintenance report or create the maintenance report. So you can use a lot of actions with your maintenance report. Right. So let's see here. What do you have to do every day, Elvia, and your and your job? I have a contact expense and work call. Uh huh. Um. You have to, uh, you say expense. Expense is what for you? Uh, egresos. Oh, expense. oh, okay. The expenses. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Cost. So, Cost. Oh, excuse me? 
or maybe the cost, cost. The costs. Okay, what do you do? You do accountant reports? Yes? Accountant. Sí, contable. Okay, great. So you, I have to uh, create or write the accountant report, for example. Yeah? If you want to say uh, an specific thing, I need to know your specific function, right? But in this case, we are talking generally, okay? Generally. For example, um, yes, because there are things that we shouldn't know here, right? But uh, let's, um, uh, let's think that you um, calculate or that you write that you analyze the reports or just control the expenses, for example. Yeah. I I have control expenses. I have uh, report this disponibilidad, no sé cómo se dice. Um, availability. Availability. Avail availability. 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 Yes, availability. I report availability. Availabilities. Okay, great. Thank you very much, Elvia. So now, if you see, we have two people talking uh, in a conversation in our manuals. Just let me share that, that conversation. What am I sharing here? Okay. It doesn't show here. Again, the same thing as yesterday. One moment, I'm going to share the the menu. Mm -hmm. I think now it will be good. Okay. Here we have it. Just let me. Okay. There we go. We need to know about the obligation of people because we need to give instructions, for example, or we need to receive the instructions. But let's see here. What, uh, this is the activity, but let's read the conversation between Aaron and Sam, okay? And it says, the new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. And Sam answers, where does he have to store the box? And I then have to store them in the warehouse. And they use the lift and what they have to do. Mm -hmm. Let me open here. Okay, I am going to choose Edward, Wilfredo, and Francisco, and Elvia. You are going to be Aaron. And Rita, Silvia, Fausto, um, Maria Fernanda, Angeli, Walter, and Eliani van a ser Sam. Okay, you are going to be Sam. So let's play role, okay? Let's see. Aaron, read with me. The new material just arrived in the morning. 
The new, mat the new the material, material just arrived in the morning. Just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Tell Max, Tell Max the, that he has to store everything. He has to store everything. Now, Sam, those who are Sam, where does he have to store the boxes? Where, where does he have, have to store, store the boxes? Okay, Aaron, read with me. He and Ivan... He and, he and Ivan have to store and them in the warehouse. Have to store them in the warehouse. Now, Sam. Okay. 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 But there, there are, are many bags. Can they use the leaf? Can they use the leaf? They use the leaf. Okay, Aaron. They have to use the leaf. They have, they, to use, have they have to use the leaf. They have to use the leaf. But ask and tell the secretary first. But, but ask and tell the secretary first. Now, Sam, she is going to say they can use it. She is going, going to say, to say they, they can use, use it. it. Then I'm going to tell Max. And Ivan, Ivan, what they have to do. What, what they, they have, have to, do. to do. Okay, now you are going to do it by yourself. Uh, by yourselves, Aaron and Sam, the same groups that I said before. Okay, Aaron, start. The new material just arrived in the morning. Sam, where does he have where to does he have the boxes? store the boxes? Okay, continue. He and he Ivan have to store, store them, them in the warehouse. In the warehouse. Okay. 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 But but there the are many boxes. boxes. Can, Can they, they use a leaf? The they have to they use the they leaf. They have to use, use the, the leaf. leaf. But as in the tell me, the secretary is going to say they can use the it. Then I am going, I am to, going tell to tell Max, Max and, Ivan and Ivan what they, what have, to they do. have to do. Okay, great. Thank you very much. So now, do you have any question at the moment about this conversation and the vocabulary that? Uh, it appears in there. Questions? Teacher, uh, I yes. have a question. Tell me. Um, just, just arrived. Uh, uh, just arrived mean, means. means that right in the moment, right in the moment, okay? Just means right now, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other question? Teacher, what meaning warehouse? Warehouse. Warehouse is a place where you store things. Warehouse is a place, a room or a building where you take the products or the goods uh, to have them uh, retain until you take them to the store, right? For, or to the delivery place, right? So warehouse is the building or the room or the space where you store the products. Well, there. Yes, but we don't <laughs> use <the> Spanish. <laughs> Remember that we don't speak Spanish today. <laughs> okay, there you go. Good. So now, uh, I'm going to give you just five minutes for you to practice the conversation. And at the same time, please answer um, or uh, I mean, complete the activity above that. And it says that you have to, um, just let me explain this. 
Remember, have to is for I have to, you have to, okay? They have to do something. Uh, we have to. But if we say she or he, Ivan, for example, or Robert or Rosa has to, correct? Has to is for the third person. Let's remember that. And you are going to circle that in the uh, last activity today. So I'm going to break you in, uh, break out in groups. And let me allow me to do this. Okay, we're still 14, right? So let's see. There we go. <laughs> okay. Um Aaron. Okay. Um the new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? They have to use the lift, but ask and tell the secretary first. She is going to say they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Nice. I'll change the... Okay, perfect. Okay. Switch. 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 Yeah. Switch. Okay. Switch. Now you switch. Okay. switch. Go ahead. Uh, the new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Where does he have where does he have to store the boxes? She and Ivan had to store the in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the use the lift? Okay, they have to use the boat as and then the secretary the secretary feels. She's going to say they can use it, use it. Then I am going to tell Max to tell Max and Ivan what what they have to do. Okay. And you start. Okay. The new material use arrive in the morning. They'll tell Max. Tiene que ayudar. Eso. Mm, sería doesn't, doesn't have to, ¿verdad? Mm, no, uh, I think uh, is doesn't have. 
because I it's remember. third person. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> okay, let me just uh, make a little explanation about that. Uh, in this case, when we transform this into negative, we have something that makes this in the, into the third person. So if we have does, then we have to use have, okay? Does he have? Uh, and the negative is he doesn't have, she doesn't have. We use have, not has, okay? Not has, not uh, has. Only, have. only negative form. Only in the negative form, because in the negative form we have doesn't, right? Doesn't, that's the no part. So doesn't is for the third person. That's enough. We are not uh, repeat, right? Or double the third person doesn't has. Mm -hmm. Okay. We are going to use doesn't have. Doesn't have. Okay. okay. Correct. There you go. So, uh, number two. Uh, Mm, teacher, eh, how do you say eh, serie? O digamos, como yo, por ejemplo, yo quiero decir esta respuesta serie. Mm, how do this you say English? Could be. Could the, be. The answer could be. Uh -huh. The answer could be. Could be. be. Mm -hmm. Could be. Okay. Mm -hmm. eh, so, could, eh, number could two, be. the answer. Could be, could be, doesn't have to. Adam doesn't okay. have to help store the boxes. Correct. The number okay. three. Continue, guys. I'm going to another room, okay? Dan doesn't okay, have to help. Pregunta. Mm. Hi. Hi, teacher. Hi. How are Hi. you doing? How are you doing? Good. How about the conversation, the dialogue? Was uh, it good? Um, good. Maybe okay. conversation. Yes, you have to practice. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For, now uh, let's see. Let's see. And what part are you right now? Are you answering or completing the the exercise? The, the last exercise. Yes. Uh, Complete. Okay. Good. Yes. So you finished. Finished. Thank you very much. I'm going to leave this room and I'm going to another. Okay. okay. Bye. See you in a little moment. Okay.
Okay. How are you doing? Good. How was the practice? It was good. It's good. Okay. It was okay. okay. It was good, teacher. Do you have questions? Mm, I think no, everything is fine. Okay, great. Okay, let's continue yeah. with this. Let's continue with this. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I, I think I have to take again the attendance, right? Uh, this is a very uh, complicated thing, but just <laughs> let's relax. Let's relax. And just let me do the last thing. Okay, because we need a little of exp uh, explanation about this topic because it's very important. It's basic that we know how to uh, express when we use have to and has to. So let's see this because you did your uh, activity there, right? So this is in your manual. I think this is page 12 page 12 and let's read this is the way when you have to do it but what if you don't have to do something and someone else has to do that thing ah this is the way to express it so let's read let's read um sylvia elizabeth can you read please the affirmative box okay uh, thank you only the first sentence or everything? I think everything if, uh, all will them. be okay, yes. Okay, perfect. Um, I have to store these packages. They have to take everything to the warehouse. We have to ask for permission. The truck driver has to bring the material. He has to use a lift. Okay. So, thank you very much, Sylvia. If you see, these are things that they must do, right? These are the obligations of these people. My obligation, he, um, his obligation, their obligation. So let's see if they don't have to do that thing or that activity. That's not their responsibility. How do we express that? Let's read the negative part, okay? For example, I have to store these packages. What will be the negative thing? Let's read, please, Wilfredo. Okay, teacher. The negative sentence. Negative boxes. Yes. Uh, I don't have to store these packages. Okay. They don't have to, to take everything to the warehouse. We don't have to ask for permission. The truck driver doesn't have to bring the material. He doesn't have to use the lift. Okay, there is a little mistake here. And I think it was uh, not um, that. But the correct thing is doesn't have, okay? Does, uh, in the part where it says the truck driver, just let me get the, the mouse here. And here, if you see, I don't have, right? They yeah. don't have to take everything. We don't have to ask, but the truck driver doesn't. Here is a mistake. We have to write it down and it says have, okay? Doesn't have to bring the material. And the other, it says he doesn't have to use the lift, okay? Just let me add something here the negative thing okay will be the truck driver it could be she or he right because we don't know if it is a woman or if it is a man right the truck driver doesn't doesn't means no right doesn't have Okay, doesn't have to bring the material. This is the correct way to do it. The truck driver doesn't have to bring the material. Doesn't 
have to. Doesn't have to. Why doesn't? Because, excuse me? Uh, um, it doesn't has, to, it doesn't exist. In, no, it's incorrect. Yes, uh, it's incorrect. That's a typing, uh, a typo. It's not correct. Okay. Okay, thanks. So this is the correct way to do it, to say. Okay, and the other one is he doesn't have to use the lift. Okay, can you give me another example, please, um, Anjali? Of a negative um, sentence? Um. The negative, the second. Or... Okay, uh, uh, let's see. Um... Sylvia, can you give me an example of a thing that you don't have to do? A sentence, please. What don't you have to do in your job? Okay. Um, I don't have to prepare drinks. Great. I don't, I don't have, have to, to prepare or Good. Which one is correct? Prepare or make? Uh, both are correct. Both are correct. But it's better prepare if you are mixing. If you are mixing things, then prepare. Right? Mm -hmm. okay. Good. Perfect. Good. Okay. Can you give me another example of a thing that you don't have to do, Francisco, please? Um, using doesn't have or, or yeah if you use doesn't have you are talking about a, a different person right he she my boss the secretary okay mm. or things that you don't have to do okay mm. The secretary uh, doesn't have to uh, paper um, for printer to buy the paper, yes, or to put the paper on the printer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, to buy. Yes. Let's see, to buy. Okay, thank you, Francisco. To buy the paper for the printer, right? Okay, there you go. If you see when uh, we use doesn't have to, okay? So now let's complete this other Activity, complete the following sentences using the correct form of have to and the words provided. So let's see number one, the company. The company is it. Remember that the company, what do you think? Buy new material. I have to buy new material. Okay. I think it has to. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay, good. Uh, and the next one, your partners. Have to. Okay. Pilot containers. Uh huh. To pile up. Okay, pile up. Okay, correct. So the next one. 
Of this two. one, moments the agent. weakest. This is, yeah. The agents have to. Teacher. Yeah, but I am trying to get here and I cannot go. Ah, because I have the annotation thing. Just one moment. The agents. Doesn't has. Oh, it moves. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. Uh, in the second, uh, your partner is not third person. Your partners? Uh, no, it's not. It's good. Yeah. It's have to. Yeah. Have to. Have to pile up. The thing is that it moved. It moved. Just give me one second and let me put it back. One moment. And it is like this. It's not, it's not third person. It's a uh, plural, right? Okay. So this is the correct thing. Your partners is more than one. It has plural. Have two. Have two. Okay. Correct? Okay, now let's think if they don't have to, right? What will be the correct way to say it? The company? Negative form? Doesn't, doesn't have to. Doesn't have to. The company doesn't have to buy new material, right? Just let me erase this. I'm having kind of... Okay, and let's... The problem is that my mouse thing here is kind of uh, rough, but just one sec. Mm -hmm. Let's think in the negative way. This will be the company doesn't have to, to uh, buy new. new material, right? There you go. And that will be correct. Oh, gosh, I cannot go back. I don't know why I cannot go back. Ah, because I have to do this, right? There you go. There you go. Okay. The company doesn't have to buy new material. Your partners have to pile up. Is that correct? So you continue with the exercise. And I think uh, it's time, it's 10 o'clock. So I'm going to uh, take the attendance. And after that, and after that, I'm sorry. And after that, we are going to do the session. Oh, God. Now, oh, this is the thing that was, okay, now, there we go. Gonna take the attendance again. Okay, Angeli Marie, I'm sorry, Angeli Magali Coronado Diaz. Present. Thank you, Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. Present. Carlos Ernesto Rogel. I'm here, teacher. Conchita Maria Cecilia Gomez Campo. Eduardo Ademir Noyola Brito. Present. Eleani Alejandra Nativi Rivera. Elvia Jan, uh, I think it was present, right? Elvia? Present. Ah, oh, thank you. Uh, Fausto Antonio Landaverde López. Present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present, teacher. Carla Marielos Guevara. Callejas. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Maria Fernanda Gavidia Guerrero. Present. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Present. Rosa Esperanza Vázquez de Girón. Present teacher. Thank you. And Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. 
No, Sandra, right? Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Hello, teacher, present. Okay, good. Walter Mauricio. Morales Araujo. Present. Wilfredo sí. Guardado Rivera. And, present. Okay, and William Isaac Montoya Avila. Okay, there we go. Thank you very much. Okay, I think uh, if there is no more questions, I think the class is dismissed and um, we're going to continue with Angeli Marie is the, the one program for today. Are you gonna stay with me? And An Angeli Magali? Yes. Okay, today is your turn for staying. Okay. Is that okay? Or... Okay. Okay, good, good. So I think class is dismissed. Do you have any other question before leaving? No teacher. No? Okay, can you give me just a feedback of what we did today? What did you learn today? Um, for example, I, I'm going to ask I, you something. Uh -huh. To many, many, many ways to use the how much and how many. Okay. Because I, I have some, some, how do you say? Dudas. That, uh-huh. That's. That's. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I I learned it to the cor the correct way to use the how many and how much. Okay, good. Thank you very much, Wilfredo. Let's see. Rosa Esperanza. Wow. Okay. Well. What did you learn today? Uh let's okay. Uh -huh. I think I think um, um practice um the uh, the material the study uh, okay the, uh -huh, practice okay uh, good good uh, I is como es de, para uh, escuchar o, listening uh, right mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> yes. uh, listen uh, que, I think uh, so, so, okay. So. <laughs> okay okay yeah everything is about practice here just practice okay. and practice okay I think guys class is dismissed and we stay Angeli Magali okay Okay, teacher. Okay. Bye. Thank you. you have a good evening. Bye. Have a great Thank night today. You. Tonight. You. Good night. Thank okay, you. bye and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Night, night. Okay, Angeli, do you have any question to start? Um, yes. Okay, tell me. I, uh, I can't, uh, I didn't can't, no he podido entrar mm -hmm. a la plataforma porque, no sé por qué mi, mi, mi cuenta o algo así no la puedo activar. Oh, entonces para eso, permíteme, vamos a tomar nota y lo voy a reportar para que te ayuden, a, para que le ayuden a entrar a, a la plataforma. 
puede ser, o sea que no se ha matriculado en la plataforma. Eh, ok. Es que sí, pero lo, es, lo hice, pero ¿es la primera vez que está usando la plataforma o, o, o ya la había usado antes? Sí, no es primera vez. Ok. Ajá. No es que yo tenía desde el año pasado, desde la pandemia, no, no he estudiado. Ok. Ok, ok. Entonces yo lo voy a reportar y seguramente se comunican con usted para que le ayuden a ingresar, ¿verdad? Y de cualquier forma, eh, igual mañana esté me ahí poniendo en el grupo para que, para que se pueda hacer. ¿Cómo a qué hora estaría bien que se comuniquen con usted? Mm, a mediodía. ¿A mediodía sería 12 o una? 12 y media. Ok. Perfecto, yo les voy a avisar. Eh, and respect to the class, do you have any question? Mm, but I, it's difficult for me because eh, I have one year, around one year, I don't practice. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know, uh -huh. I, I, it's difficult for me. Okay, do you think it will be okay if we practice the conversation that we had today in the class? Is yes. it okay if we practice you and me? I'm going to yes. show this thing here. Okay, let's do this. And let's okay. practice. Let's think that you are Uh, that I am Aaron and you are Sam, and then we switch, okay? Let's okay. see. The new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the leaf? They have to use the lift, but ask and tell the secretary first. She's going to say they can use it, but then I am going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Okay, great. Now we are going to switch. You are going to be Aaron and I'm going to be Sam. Okay, you start. The new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? They have to use the lift, but as to the us and Tell the secretary first. She's going to say they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Okay. Do you have any question when you see this? Any question about vocabulary or something? Yes. Well, um, store the box. What is the meaning? Okay. Boxes? Or a, a box is the thing where you put things into uh -huh. it's made of yes so store yeah. it means that you have to put it in a place where you are going to live it right to store to make okay. the storage right so you put the yeah, box that. yes kind of keep the box uh -huh. yes that's correct mm -hmm. Yes, that's oh, the store. Okay. Yes, I think you have the the confusion is because store some uh, the other meaning is uh, a place where you go to buy things, right? That's yes. a store, yes. mm -hmm. but it's a verb too. So it means that you put things and keep things like in the kitchen, you store all the foods, right? Uh, like in the, I uh, mean, the bathroom, you store all the cleaning um, products that you use, right? Products. Yes, uh-huh, correct. So 
that store. Store is to put the things into a place where you keep them and maintain them until you use it, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And what is the meaning of lift? Lift is a machine. Yeah. It's a machine. Uh, they uh, drive the machine and it has two piles like this and you use it like this. It's, it's oh. like a little truck that they use in the warehouses. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's the lift. Oh. Mm -hmm. okay. In Spanish, uh, we say montacarga, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, that's it. No, no more questions about this. Mm, no. Okay. If you want, just to finish, uh, because we have some minutes left. Uh, why don't we solve this thing? Number one. Number one. Max and Ivan has to store the boxes. Why do you say has to? Remember because that? I, uh -huh. Because the, the, porque son ellos. Okay, if, it's, if it is two people, it's more than one, it's plural, right? So we cannot use has. We have to use have because it's they, right? Two people, they. I'm not included, but they. Okay. Max and Ivan. Uh huh. Have two. Let's uh -huh. the box. Excellent. Yes. Number two. Okay. Aaron has to help store the boxes. Aaron has to help to store the boxes. Are you sure that he has? Um, he has or he, like or he doesn't That's an have? Ivan. No, no, no. Let's see. This is from the conversation, right? So Aaron, mm -hmm. let's see. Aaron is kind of the boss there, right? He's giving the instructions to some. Oh, okay. So, number two, so do you think that Aaron, Aaron doesn't have, uh -huh. doesn't have to help store the box? Correct. He doesn't have to because he's the boss, right? Uh, he's asking okay. uh, Sam to do it. Number three, it says, uh, can you read it? Sam... Um, doesn't have to help. Uh huh. There is a mistake doesn't there. Has. Uh huh. Doesn't he has. Have. He has, or he doesn't have to. He hasn't. Okay. No, uh, veamos is. una cosa. Es que ahí hay un hay un error. Es que este error viene desde arriba. Pero aquí no es doesn't has to, donde, te aparece, donde le aparece Sam doesn't have to y la aplica y luego dice doesn't has to. No, aquí es, ese doesn't está de más. Ok. Ajá, ahí táchelo para que no lo vea. Ajá. Lo correcto sería, the correct thing sería, Sam has to help. Ok. Sam has to help. Ella tiene que ayudarles. No, Sam, Sam. Sam, Sam. in the conversation. Here we have Aaron and Sam, right? Yes. Then Sam has to help. Okay. But does he have to or... He doesn't have to. What do you think? I'm sorry, Sam. He has to help. Okay, we could say he has to help. Okay, number four. The secretary um, have to 
No, have to say that they can use the lift. Mm -hmm. The secretary, the secretary has to say has that. To say mm -hmm. that they can use the lift. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. That okay. is correct. That is correct. Do you have any other question about this? Um, no. Okay, are we okay with everything? Yes. Okay, now I think the class is dismissed, Angeli. And if you have any other question, remember that you can uh, ask me uh, via WhatsApp or in, um, yeah, via WhatsApp is our way, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, Porque good. La tarea de ayer mm -hmm. me quedaría ahorita pendiente, ¿verdad? Sí, hasta que pueda ingresar a la plataforma. Por eso yo les voy a decir a ellos ahorita, lo voy a reportar y lo voy a eh, poner ahí para que se comuniquen con usted. Ok, perfecto. Ok, Angeli. You have a great night, ok? Thank you very much. You're welcome and bye. Bye.